Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome to this encounter. Welcome to a time out with God where heaven is about to kiss the earth literally this morning. I'm so excited. This is one morning I looked forward to. I look forward to this morning because someone's testimony, someone's miracle, someone's turnaround, someone's change of story is tied to this meeting. It's our third year anniversary. I like to give you a word from the Bible, Hosea chapter 6 and verse 2. Uh, let me take my reading from verse 1. It says, Come and let us return to the Lord, for He has turned, He will heal us. He has smitten, He will bind us up. And verse 3 says, verse 2 says, After two days, He will revive us. On the third day, He will raise us up. This was a prophecy that was foretold before Jesus came literally. That after three days, he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. So God is saying this third year celebration, someone is about to be raised up. Someone is about to be built up. Someone is about to live in his sight. It's our third year anniversary. Your life is going to change. I've got and all our senior pastors, our, our three senior pastors in the studio. I've got mama in the studio. And we're going to be exploring by the Spirit of God the journey for the past three years and the effect it's had on viewers around the world. God is going to give you a word. Expect a prophetic word. Expect a prophetic shift. Expect an encounter. Before the, uh, God visits any man, God sends a word. Every encounter, every move of the Spirit, every change of level is on the premise and the platform of a word. And that's the, the, the essence of this meeting this morning. To practically take you from where you've been into where you ought to be. You've been controlled for a while. You've been, you've been restricted for a while. I've said this all the time. That traffic wardings only control vehicles. They can't control aircraft. You get out of the, out of the realm where you have been manipulated. You have been controlled. When a pilot is flying, he's not conscious of the weather. He's conscious of the radar. So it doesn't matter if the wind is boostero. So long the radar says it's fine, it goes ahead. And that's how sometimes the plane they will tell you, we are about to experience some turbulence. He's not worried. He's not panicked. Because he knows the radar will never lie. The word of God is God's radar. This is a vehicle this morning to take you to the next level. Stay back. Call your friends. Call your loved ones. Call people together. And the next one or two minutes, I'll be back to talk to you. And go through most of the mails that we are sent to us on how this TV channel, how this move of God in a box has become a blessing to people <laughs> around the world. I'll be back to talk to you after this time out. I'll be you. Glory to God. Welcome back. God bless you. Like I said, call your friends, call your loved ones. Now listen, there is something about the supernatural. Every encounter with a man from God is an encounter that lives, lives with you, on you, blessings from God. Deliberate, definite blessings from God. In Genesis 25, the Bible says from verse 5, it says, and Abraham gave Isaac all he had. But if you go down to verse 6, the Bible says, and he called his servants, his children from other concubines, and he gave them gifts. Now, if a man gave his son all he had, where did he get the gifts to give to other children? What he gave to Isaac was intangible, was a blessing that made him Abraham, a blessing that transcended to Esau, to Jacob, to all of the children. So you're about to receive this morning an anointing and a blessing that will transcend your generation. I'm here today with uh, men of God and we're going to be talking and their experiences, the feedbacks they get, and we're going to be praying on your meals together. The the sword of Elisha, Jehu shall slay. He that has kept the sword of Jehu, Isaiah shall slay. So, the, um, the anointing in this place, your enemies and the powers of limitation over your life will never recover. I'm here with my wife. 
her mama is here. She presents a program on Celebration TV. It's a new anointing. And um, it's a blessing. The, the program she presents is a blessing to people, a blessing to the world. And um, most people are, have been seriously blessed by it. We have um, Reverend Kingsley, I'd be also from OFM Northern um, Zone. It's, it presents um, moments of um, power. Um, or celebration on TV, and it's a blessing to people around the world. And we have Reverend John Azia from the South South region. He's doing a great work there, and he presents Echoes of Fire, a blessing um, around the world. We've got Reverend Fidelis, I call him the Bull. He, he, he is doing so well, and he presents a program titled Moment of Grace. And together, we're going to be running through some of our males. Celebration TV has been a blessing. It's been a blessing. And um, um, one of the major things I can say about Celebration TV is, as it were, an eye opener. You know, the Minister of Blemish, Jehovah the Doctor. Um, Chronicles of Miracles, Chronicles of Miracles, how singles mingle, saved, and all of that. It is uh, my experience, finance experience, Sunday service experience, and so so many so many programs. And um, the strength, I think, the strength of this station is the content. Um, the content is is spiritually searched for. It's not something that just came up or an internal prompting or an immediate prompting. By the flesh it's something that was sought for in the realm of the spirit and um and god gave us certain clues that has been a blessing to people uh, and I, I thank god that we are getting lots of feedbacks of what god is doing and that's the best you can do the best thing you can do for celebration tv is to tell a friend the best thing you can do you know to see i'm a major partner is to tell a friend the finances uh, you can be a financial partner you can pray for us but above all you spread the news and you tell a friend around the nations of the world there have been several several achievements and i'm going to come after reading the mails and tell you a few things that are coming up and tell you a major major news which i know you want to hear this morning it's a landmark achievement it's a landmark um, um, um landmark experience of what god is doing i've got some mails right in front of me and um the first of them is from tango rose from Kumba in Cameroon. He said, greetings brethren, it gives me more than pleasure to express my innermost joy of what Celebration TV has done in my life as a person and my family at large. Before I started watching Celebration TV, I was a church, I was just a church goer who doesn't pay tight nor see any importance in the work of God. Through this channel, watching and listening to our father and our mother and the Lord, um, firstly, I give my life to Christ. Awesome, awesome. I gave my life to Christ, pay my, my tithe regularly, join the women's group in my church, attend weekly church meetings, and even minister to people about God. Moreover, my marriage that was experiencing so many problems is not the best marriage in the world because I've learned so much from my mother and the Lord. If I am given a whole day to write, I will still not finish because I'm full with joy. Awesome. Uh, uh, one of the things I noticed here, she's a, she was going to church. Oh, say about Christmas. And there is um, another thing I just observed. Celebration TV actually has been a blessing to the world, but uh, has been of a tremendous blessing more to Christians. Because from what um, the person has sent the mail, what she's trying to explain, that you can see that her personal life is being affected as a Christian. Yeah. Her personal life yeah. has been affected. So it is not just about um, listening or watching, but someone's life is being affected as a Christian. There is um, there's a place of revival, a refreshing, and that's exactly what I'm saying here. Reverend John, you know, when one of the major um, 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 one of the major bottlenecks in the church is or in the world is for you to be able to affect a Christian. Yes, sir. Mm. Christians have an, an ideology. There's an ideology. There's a mindset. Yes. 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 Doctrinal beliefs. Mm. Yes. So to be able to pull down all of those walls, mm. what do you want? Yeah, like uh, you were uh, saying at the introduction of the, of the when you came up, 
We talk about uh, celebration TV being the move of God in the box. Now, what we add to it that uh, it's not just the move of God in the box, it's the power of God and the spirit of God in the box. You know, the Bible says, Psalm 110, verse 3, He said, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. So, it's the power of God being transmitted via the airwaves that is able to transform a man, spirit, soul, and body. And I believe that is why this lady can come up to say that Celebration TV has transformed her life despite the fact that she's been a Christian because the power of God has penetrated her spirit, her soul, and her body. Yes. We have another one. It says, um, greetings, cover greetings, take that down. Covered, covered greetings. My name is Shedrack from Wam, Wamba Local Government. I don't know what that is. The Wamba Local Government, I think, of Nasarawa State, Nigeria. Celebration TV is an impactful and life changing channel. Since I encountered Celebration TV, my life has never remained the same again. I used to be a drug addict. My God. My God. A chain smoker. A criminal. Wow. But since my encounter with Papa on TV, my life changed for good, spiritually, mentally, and physically. For me, being free from addiction and habit is a miracle because it wasn't easy. Just by listening to the word of God from his servant, Apostle Johnson Suleiman on Celebration TV, he was a drug addict, a chain smoker. There's a difference between a smoker and a chain smoker. A chain smoker. A chain smoker. Being a smoker could be um, one that somebody might do for fun, but being a chain smoker is an addiction. An addiction. And you see, the easiest way to be free from an addiction is to be hooked onto another addiction. Another addiction. Mm. Yes. This is this is this is this is a serious one. He was a criminal. Mm. Oh, Reverend Kingsley, there's something that that baffles me. Um, when people Somebody has tried, you have tried, you've done everything, hands have been laid on you um, to break out of sex. Because you must understand something about addiction. Yeah. Um, when the devil wants to ruin a man, ruin his life, he hooks him up to something. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. There are all kinds of addiction. Just yes. hooks him up to something. Mm -hmm. So that he slaves and slaves all through. What do you have to say about this? Because somebody was a criminal, somebody was a chain smoker, somebody was a drug addict. One man. Mm -hmm. Uh, so like what you always said, said uh, habit is stronger than effort. Mm. I think it's just the grace of God for all he has had. The Bible said in Acts 10, verse 27, it shall come to pass in that day that the anointing, so it's the anointing of the word of God that has delivered this young man. Now, I, he has had a lot of problem, a lot of uh, heartbeat. He has been addicted to a lot of things. But through the word of God, he has been delivered. And his life has changed. Life has changed for good. So we thank God for celebration TV. We thank God for what God is doing. He said, For me to be free, I like what he said from habit. From habit. Uh, are you seeing something about the soul? Yeah. Most of these miracles. No, no, about the soul. Someone's the soul is being transformed. Transformation of the soul. Your thinking pattern. Um, your mind your is mindset. being renewed. Your mind is being refreshed. Awesome. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll go on a break for one minute. We'll go on a break for one minute. And after this break, We'll come back to take more meals and come back to tell you what we have in store for you. Don't touch that dial. Praise the Lord. Welcome back. Welcome back. I won't take another meal. He says, my name is Mrs. Adesua. I'm, actually, I'm so excited that our Celebration TV, Adesua Joanne on Larry Wanjo. I'm so excited that our Celebration TV clocks three. It's my endless desire that she will clock 100 years if Jesus tarries. My family and I have been so blessed by a numerous power-packed program. My favorite is Ministers Without Blemish. Uh, as a pastor's wife and a Christian, I have had lots of messages that propels one to move from one level of greatness to another. I'm also inspired when my mother comes on the altar to minister, especially to minister's wife. I always say to myself, soon 
I will get that. Take it up a little bit. Soon I will get that. You know yeah, what she said? She said one of the things, one of the programs that have been a blessing to her is ministers. Yeah, and she's, she's, and as a, she's a pastor's wife. Yes. That's your constituency. Yes, what yes. do you have to say to the pastor's wife? Yes. Um, the most important thing that every pastor's wife will. I wrote a book, Pastoring the Pastors. Yeah. And um, the most important thing every pastor's wife must understand is to know that your husband is your first ministry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your for, that's your first ministry. You need to be committed, you know, um, in a place of being a helper. Like the Bible says that we are helpmates. So by the time he sees your seriousness, it's not just a question of uh, trying to, you know, drag to be always be on the altar to preach or give me the microphone. That's not just about that. But when your husband, as a pastor, sees your seriousness, your sincerity, on his own, even without any push, he tells you, and you remember, I after our marriage, you didn't just allow me to start preaching. Yeah. You didn't just, I think, yeah. several years. Yeah. Five years, five Several years. But five you see, years. pastors' wives these day, they want to drag microphone. Mm. It's not just about climbing the altar. Let your husband see your sincerity. Just keep supporting him. Just keep playing your role as a helper. Like the Bible says that we are helpmates. Because that is your first ministry. Thank you very much. Sir. You know, um, one time they asked um, late Ora Roberts. Ora Roberts was a great man. He had a university. Um, <clears throat> most of the evangelists we have today, most of them, even the late Archbishop, was affected by Robert Bishop. David Oedekman was affected by Robert. Most of them have a link to Robert. And the wife was such a silent woman. And one time they asked the wife a question, what is your ministry? Your husband has done so much. Actually, Robert has a son called Richard Roberts, who's still on with the father's um, legacy. And they said, what is your ministry? And she said, my first ministry and only ministry is oral. In other words, he yes it's my ministry but today we have a problem when you see a pastor's wife mm. running a fellowship mm. inside i'm telling you i yes. see a, yes. a, a fellowship yes. inside the husband's mm. that, that's that's rubbish and that's division yes division, division. opposite of division yes. that's that's rubbish that shouldn't hold that shouldn't hold if god has called you as a pastor's wife or called god has called your husband and the next thing you must do is to support him. And that's why I believe most pastors make mistakes mm. by marrying people who have a consciousness of independent ministry. Yes. Because being a pastor's wife is a calling. It's a calling. It's a calling. It's a, yes, it's a ministry of his own. So most people marry, uh, marry a woman who already have an ideology. She mm. has a mindset that she has her own calling. Um, calling and yeah. just, uh, when, when that is not addressed, mm. there will be problems. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That woman has to know that I will subject is subject to the will of the husband, of the husband. Mm -hmm. as a pastor's wife so we were talking to somebody this morning mm -hmm. if you're a pastor's wife you must know that your number one ministry is your husband your ministry should be subject mm -hmm. to that of your husband you need this permission I don't know when you say as a woman hey, but it's not, not going to permit me then stay if it doesn't permit you stay because sometimes rebellion oh, when you are rebellious as a woman what do you have to I, I, I've seen this happen over time yes, when you have so many rebellious women trying to attain leadership mm. so many rebellious women who, who who are causing problem they're having a click in the husband's assignment we believe this morning such issues will be dealt with and it will stop mm. come up with the next one it says uh, my name is boo carl joshua from Douala. i'm thankful for the for all the million things Thank you to God for all the million things he has done to me through Celebration TV. I came to know this Blessed TV in 2015. And it's unique among other TV channels. It has lifted my spiritual life so greatly. And today, and joy and favor are my friends. I thank God for his grace through his choice servants. God bless Celebration TV. Happy birthday. God bless you. Can I come up to the next one? I want to thank God. I want to thank God for what he has done in my life through Celebration on TV. We are spiritually dry. Wow. Mm -hmm. But we mm -hmm. thank God through our Papa, through Papa, our spiritual life is revived. Being a pastor's wife, I have been 
have been blessed so much mm. by Papa and Mama. God bless you. Sylvia Zulu from Zambia. God bless you, Sylvia. God prosper you in Jesus' name. Hello, brethren of the same faith in Christ. More grace to you. My, my testimonies in Celebration TV are it has helped my prayer life on the increased level. Celebration TV has opened my eyes to the depth, deepness of God's word and accurate prophecy. Celebration TV upper room has built my prayer life. I'm so grateful for the revelation, grateful to God for the revelation he gave to Papa to bring out this station to help us. I pray God bless God abundant grace on his life. Amen. To keep blessing us through Celebration TV. Amen. Victoria Brown from River State. God bless you, Victoria. God prosper you. In Jesus' name. Come up with the next one. Happy three years anniversary. Celebration TV crew. Not living out of founder. Apostle Prophecy Johnson Suleiman and Brother Fombe Prophet. Celebration TV has shaped my life for good. My testimony is good, does. I've been drinking alcohol mm. for the past years before I got born again. Even when I became born again, I still continue drinking. <laughs> I still, I still, how can you be born again? <laughs> even when I became born again, I still continue drinking alcohol. Even when I, until November 25th, 2015, mm. Christmas service. Oh Jesus. Jesus. I lost the appetite of alcohol in my life. Up to date, six months now, I have not drank alcohol, neither do I want to see it. Amen. Amen. This is this is it's awesome. It's awesome. Wow. Wow. I've lost the desire of fleshly things. This is this is you know there is joy when you achieve what your heart is set to achieve mm. there is joy when you are able to achieve you see one of the things we're seeing here is the other one was a pastor's wife we've seen pastor's wife we've seen people there's something i'm picking from all of these testimonies even when i became a christian even as a christian and if you look around the world as we travel around nations of the world 40 percent of our programs are attended by pastors 40 percent of our programs sometimes we have to ask how many pastors here we see people in their hundreds the acceptance in the in the christian faith this man says he was a christian uh, according to him he said he was born again and was still drinking what do you say about how the power of god by this medium is able to touch those already in the church give them a new mindset it's amazing what, what, what do you have to say about that I think one of the things I would like to say is uh, this thing is about the genuineness of the man that carries the man. Then number two, I have observed that the station, as it were, was not better to prove a point. It's not an emotional thing. Most of the testimonies we have, if I talk from the perspective that we've been privileged to hear you talk about your passion, your burning desire, that the greatest miracle is not just the man that gets up from the wheelchair, is a life that is transformed. You now start living the life of Christ. And each time you teach, you talk about the life coach, which has to do with the reality of the world. A lot of people, they've had a lot of apocalypses, a lot of strong revelation that have got them more confused. But you break down the word of God by the spirit of God to the level where it has an effect on people's life. And I want to say categorically, like himself, he always says not being in church, that is as is important was being in God, in Christ. I think I want to say categorically that Celebration TV has been a channel where people don't just come to church as ceremonial thing. They come to know the personality of Jesus, who is the, who is the church himself. I think under this platform, I want to say that this is what the word of God, which is real, undiluted, yet it goes to heat. Like you said, the word from the heart goes to the heart. Yeah. I believe so much that because it comes from the heart, well cooked, is going to the heart and causing revival yeah. everywhere. You know, I, I'm so excited. I thank God for miracles in the body, yes. miracles of um, bodily healings. But when I sit back, I hear people telling me, I used to be this way. I'm no more this way. I'm now that way. 
it gives me so much joy so much joy and that's what God is going to do every habit in your life every negative character trait drinking smoking immorality love for money greed pride the, the sins of the flesh you battle with I see freedom Amen. I see freedom. Amen. God is setting you free. Amen. You will shake up the beast and it will fall into the fire. Amen. I see God's power setting you free Amen. from every habit once formed, every habit that's now like a trend mm. in the family. There are families where there's a habit, a generational habit. Yes, sir. Father was a drunkard, mother was a drunkard, you know, brothers are drunkards. It's a generational habit. Then there are families where the man was a herbalist. Even when he has not taught his son, the physical dictates of herbalism. The young man is already seeing spirits. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. He has not. He has not gotten a formal training yes, sir. on mix this or give this, but he's already seeing spirits because mm. it's like a demonic visitation in their family. In the name of Jesus, yes, anyone from such a home, such a location, where there is a negative satanic pattern, Allah uh, I don't know who I'm seeing around around Zambia. I'm seeing somebody around Zambia. It's like your father is a witch doctor, your mother is a witch doctor. And you are like the second son because the first son died mm. you're like you're like the second son lusaka you're in lusaka you're like the second son and and they now say you have to inherit the idols but you say you want to serve god but these idols are chasing you and it's like you're almost losing your mind i break their power Amen. i break their powers Amen. i decree in the name of the lord jesus christ be free Amen. the bible says, what what relationship as the as, as the word of god with idols i decree a permanent detachment Amen. a separation right now in the name of the lord jesus Amen. you will fulfill your original destiny not the destiny of a generational power in jesus name my wife and i my wife and i mr and mrs murphy howlett from Ghana would like to thank God of OFM for Papa and Mama for the tremendous flow overflow of God's tangible power and presence all over the world. You have made ministry and family life so simple despite the enormous workload. We pray for increase in anointing for you and the entire OFM members. We love you. You are a great blessing. Thank you. God bless you, Murphy. God bless your wife. God bless your family. My name is Lucian Wenger Yema from Cameroon. Since I started watching Celebration TV, my prayer life and fasting life has taken another turn. I just love the way prayers have been prayed in Omega Fire Ministries, especially daddies ministers who usually pray behind the scene. My appetite for the Word of God has increased drastically based on the deep revelation in the Word given to God's oracle by God. I've just positioned myself at the angle tapping into such depth. I've not seen such depth before. I celebrate grace. I cannot just wait for the shipment of your two new books in Cameroon. I pray that you receive grace in Jesus' name. God bless you, Lucian, in Jesus' mighty name. I've been so blessed with programs like Minister with a Blemish, Upper Room, New Anointing and other live programs. I now have a deep understanding of the principles of prayer and my prayer life has turned as I've been uplifted. May God bless the media department and take them from glory to glory. Marion, this from Marion. God bless you, Marion, in Jesus' name. I would like to thank God for using his choice mouthpiece, Oracle Papa, Prophet, and Philanthropist, Apostle John Suleiman. Since I got to know about John Suleiman, everything about my life has changed. Celebration TV is a blessing to my life. Thank God. Thank you so much, Mama, Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman, for supporting my mentor in terms of everything. From Owen, Madam Mobe. Thank you. He said thank you, so I said thank you. Thank you, sir. Hi, Celebration TV. With great joy, I send you this message for what you're doing our generation. I want to thank God for using Celebration TV to reach out to the world. May God bless our Father. May God bless Celebration TV. Some programs have changed my life. Celebration TV. One is the revelation. True Celebration TV. One is the revelation of God's word. The prayer base. Upper room has changed my life. I can't pray for one hour before. Now I can kneel for three hours. Wow. I, I, this is what I love. Wow. <coughs> wow. Pray. 
May God be praised. Happy Todd and the Bash of Celebration TV. My name is Adamson Emmanuel. Now listen, every channel is a reflection of the life of the man. Mm. What you see the channel give priority to is a reflection of the strength of the said man. Most time at night, I am awake. Personally, most time my strength is at night. I am awake. So I practically expose the things that I do. So most times I make sure through the night people are also awake and they pray. One hour prayer at night is stronger than six hour prayers in the day. There's an anointing at that time. Because the Bible says God comes at the cool of the day. The cool of the day begins 12 a.m. Yes, sir. People don't understand. The cool of the day begins 12 a.m. So when a man soaks himself in the place of prayer, a man soaks himself in the place of worship, a man soaks himself in the place of the anointing at that time. You open the Bible, it opens. You open the scripture, it opens. And at that time, there's a, a resident presence of God's Spirit that comes. The anointing to pray Amen. come upon you. Amen. The anointing to pray. Amen. The anointing to pray. Amen. The anointing to intercede Amen. come upon your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Celebration T Good morning, sir. You are indeed God sent to our generation. I'm happy. Celebration TV is three. As I pray, it continues. The station has impacted impacted so much in me my wife and my two-year-old boy who speaks your tongue <laughs> and teach along with you every day sir you are a blessing to my life through celebration tv i pray for more strength and grace to continue this station has been of great benefit to my family thanks and god bless mr eddie chris god bless you eddie god bless your two-year-old son and god may god give him his own tongues so he starts speaking his own tongues in Jesus' name. It's another year God has used Celebration TV to bless my life and that of my family. I want to appreciate the fact that Celebration, that through Celebration TV, my worship, praise, and prayer life has been transformed. Watching live services, both Sundays and Crusade, kudos to Celebration TV. The family of Stephen Samari say thank you. Happy anniversary. You know, come up with the next one. You know, um, I'm excited at this is one station that uh, I don't know I don't watch other channels yes sir. it's not because of anything it's just I'm an addictive person when I'm I'm used to one thing I I focus on that thing so I don't really watch I don't know what happens in most channels yes, but I think television TV one thing that's given us a major edge is that most of our programs are on life yes, yes, we do make sure yes, we do crusades in nations yes, life yes, we did a program in Atlanta Georgia in America and it was transmitted live. The program in South Africa transmitted, and most of our programs are, are transmitted live. You know, one of the good news I'd like to give to you, which is a major landmark amongst several other news, is that we now have Celebration TV America. Amen. It's a miracle. Amen. I mean, it's a station, Celebration TV America. It's, it's a, a full channel on its own on that television TV you know Nigeria Africa we were trying to see how we could get to a point where we can give platform even to preachers in America who want to come on board platform to certain people it, it, it's powerful and from there like we have a program in Philadelphia in the next couple of weeks it's gonna be life it's gonna come up life it, it's a miracle it's a miracle there are several other programs we are we are coming up with um, we are coming up with brand new programs and we're gonna take two Males, and then I'm going to tell you when we come back um, um, after this. I'm going to tell you some of the programs, and there are some excerpts of those programs that will run for one or two minutes and to be a blessing to people around the world. I'll be back in a few seconds to talk to you. I mean, you, you, you. God bless you.
Lord. Hallelujah. I want to take this email from a man of God, from a pastor. He says, Dear Apostle, I'm a pastor at Faith of Work Ministries Benin. Uh, we just had our first anniversary. But how do I get direction on walking in such fire from God? I need direction. Thanks for Celebration TV. It has opened my eyes to another realm of glory. Pastor Sam. You see, to get direction from God, you have already gotten direction by desiring direction. Desiring direction is already a, a, a foundation for direction. for direction. For you to know you need to know where to go, it's already a sign that you are going somewhere. So what, what I would like to say to you, Pastor Sam, is the first direction you need in life is the Word of God. Is the Word of God. You must find your place. If you don't know who you are, you won't know where you are going. If you are a pastor, you must find your call. Actually, many pastors do not know their calling. Some pastors just like certain offices mm -hmm. and they feel they should manifest it. A pastor likes prophecy, so he feels he wants to prophesy. You don't have to like it. Mm -hmm. You have to be called into it. There's a difference between desire that you like to be a graduate. It doesn't make you a graduate. You've got to go to school. So there are people who just like certain things and because they like it, they just feel it's a calling. No. As a pastor, the first thing you must do, go and ask God, what is my place? And a prophet can confirm it, but I think it's always better when you go back to the source and say, what is my place? As soon as you find your place, every direction you need is in locating your place. So I, I, I'll make it um, very plain for you, Pastor Oni. Go and ask God, in the place of your father, what have you called me to do? No man is called to preach the whole Bible. We could touch around places. I have a message for restoration. I have a message to end affliction. I have a message for hope. But there are so many people who feel they are called to preach everything. The man says, I'm a balanced man. I preach everything. You, do, you can't preach everything. You are too small to preach everything. You can only touch other places, but you are known for something. When you talk about Paul, we know what to think of. Talk about Peter, we know what to think of. Talk about Luke, you know, all these, all these um, disciples, all the apostles rather, you know, we know what to think about. So God bless you. To be sincere, Salvation TV has changed my life totally. First, I was a Christian, but not born again. Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> when people say certain things, I really do not. Um, I, I think it's the understanding um, of what salvation is. You may, you may have known about God, but if you are not born again, you have never been a Christian. If you are not born again, you have never been a Christian. You may have been in church for a long time. If you are not born again, you have never been a Christian. But I understand what you are talking about. He says, your teachings have changed my life. I can now read my Bible frequently. Papa, how can some of us who want to bless your ministry with a little? We have. All your accounts are in foreign currency. I thank God for your life and ministry in our generation. I don't think that's true. There are some Naira accounts. At the end of this um, old morning anniversary celebration, we will be scrolling back to back all the accounts. Celebration TV accounts, um, my personal bank details, because se several people have been swindled and they've been deceived. Um, people tell them this Apostle Suleiman's account pay. And that's why we decide to say, okay, no, we don't want people to be deceived. If these accounts, you know, we screen on the television set and not what was given to you by anybody, then it's not a valid one. Celebration TV has been an inspiration and Papa has been a real model. The world, the world ministry of OFM has been a powerful source of strength for my spiritual growth. And through Celebration TV, I can proudly say my life has never been the same again. Many more years of God's blessing to you, Celebration TV. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. I'm called Chris. Celebration TV has been a blessing to my life. At first, I don't like all these gospel channels. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I love the sincerity in some of the males. Yes, sir. I love this. I love sincere people. You may not be perfect, but just be sincere. Yes, the, the man is, is saying the truth. Says his name is Chris. I understand. He said, at first, I don't like all these gospel channels. But when I came in contact with Celebration TV and I gave it a try, since that day, a day hardly goes by without watching Celebration TV. Papa's preaching is really interesting and he speaks with a lot of confidence, which amazes me. He does not only preach about the gospel, but also preaches reality, reality. about hygiene, hygiene 
which is very important. In fact, I'm really very bored and angry if I cannot watch television TV because, oh, I'm really bored and angry that I cannot watch television TV because my TV is down. Oh, may your TV be up. <laughs> In Jesus' name, God bless you, Chris. Amen. It's my pleasure to congratulate the senior pastor, Apostle Suleiman, for his awesome TV network. I was particularly blessed by the depth inside of the Word of God from the man of God. I'm a minister of the gospel, but through celebration TV, people are always marveled by the grace I contacted for word revelation. You have been a source of transformation to me and my family. We have been following you right from celebration right right from till celebration tv came thank god for the grace on your life please speak a word of a word on me for total change from your faithful son obi Ejo. you are blessed obi god increase you you shall yet see breakthroughs open many more strange doors in jesus name i i i want to say something that's amazing people go back and they are amazed at the depth of the word of God I, 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 I'm not trying to endorse myself or endorse any minister but I think we should as believers understand what makes a ministry unique is the depth of the word of God Satan cannot give biblical revelations mm. Satan cannot open your eyes to study the word of God because the greatest enemy of the devil is the Bible. So the devil will do everything to make you stay off the Bible because he knows the secrets of life on how to pull him down, how to destroy him is in the Bible. So anyone that has the word or that is addicted to the word knows the secret of life. It's God's secret. The secret of men are in their words. You understand men when they speak. So to understand God, you must hear him speak. So my amazement is people are testified. Look at what this man said. He said when people hear him talk, they are amazed because he got revelation from television TV. They are amazed. Um, ministries have been blessed. Ministries have been transformed. What do you have to say about pastors and how celebration TV has been a blessing? I'm talking of men of God has been a blessing to pastors celebration tv i know you you, you may have one of the persons who have spoken to you or your observation down the pastoral line via celebration tv thank you papa i want to say this like you the early days were privileged to come around there's one word you kept saying major not on the giftings major on the word because uh today by the grace of god i haven't been privileged to associate with one or two pastors in the house and those your sons of the prophet if there's one thing they celebrate so much is the depth of God's word and it's contagious directly uh, the word of God the revelations of God's word in your mouth has rubbed off on almost all the pastors that Omega pastors sons of the prophet and every other thing you know I want to say this categorically the celebration TV has been a channel where a lot of preachers specifically have been able to sit on the screen. I can say categorically, a man said to me, he said, I watch him before I climb the altar. Mm. And the prayers you pray becomes part of the prayers yeah, that we pray. We pray. Mm. And the revelation you share becomes a support for what is operational. So uh, I will say this, Daddy, that apart from the fact that the prophetic dimension is heavy, uh, even before the prophecy, everywhere is heated up. Because the word of God is is, is is on parallel. It's just God. And I want to say this, that a lot of pastors watch your services. They've readjusted their timing such that they can enjoy you before they go and flow to the people. Bringing this point that, Bible said they were first with Jesus before he sent them forth to preach. So when we watch you like this, we tap some fresh oil. When you climb the altar, you are flowing a dimension that your people can now say, you talk like your papa. Yeah. yeah. I, I would like to advise. Feedback is very important, you know. Um, all of these mails, uh, we have seen the effect of feedbacks. Mm. We, have, we have social media. You can um, 
you can like us on Facebook you can leave a comment you can like us and you can share it's important because some of the the, the testimonies we are hearing now um, uh, this is just a few a tip of the things happening around the world um, it's very very important we are coming up with lots of programs we are coming up with programs for, for kids we are coming up with sport programs we are coming up with family programs we are coming up with several programs we have a program called chuckles and we have a, another program called my experience it's how great personalities have encountered the move of god through celebration tv and um it's been dramatized there's a screenplay for it um chuckles it's going to come up right now we have some women their problem is their rapper every night that's how you tie up on your chest like a frustrated lazarus <laughs> Rub powder like a native doctor. See they rub powder, scatter their neck with powder. You don't know if this is powder, if this calamar lotion, you don't understand. They scatter their neck with powder. I say, carry body, they go here. <laughs> James, <laughs> Papa Joan, push man and push wife. Let me shock you. Do you know there are offerings and sacrifices that God rejects? And I saw a lady the other time came out. She dropped her television set and she held it. I said, Mommy, is that a seed? He said, Yes, I know one drop them. I know one drop them. Why you bring and come? I want mine to make her bring her, but I know one drop them. Carry and go. The mind to make her carry and come to church. I release the baptism of the appetite for your wife in your heart. A fresh love. A fresh love. Sit down. And you woman, also behave yourself. Don't say because I pray this prayer, you behave anyhow. Better behave yourself as a wife. Actually, I've actually met people who have told me that someone saw me in a particular African nation and just started laughing. I was just laughing. So I said, You're embarrassing, why are you laughing? Just started laughing. She said, I watch you to laugh. I said, You watch me to laugh? He said, I just laugh. You 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 communicate the word of God, the gospel in such an exciting manner. Someone, a program last night, somebody a very high placed media media person. You know, when media practitioners mm. accept a dimension, it, it's something serious, yes, you know. And um, she said, I, I watched you yesterday. I came with a friend. And my friend couldn't help, almost fell down from the chair laughing. And I, I said, Holy Ghost Convention, what, what comical, I couldn't remember. It's just an expression. And, and sometimes um, when things like this are done, it's not to... Um, uh, people think that once you are a born again Christian, there is a, 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 a there are no side attractions. There are no uh, you just have to be praying or true, which is good. You just have to be um, fasting or true, which is good. But there's a reality of life that you need to understand. And sometimes to stay back and just relax and calm down frayed nerves, we came up with certain program. Another one is coming up, and it's called My Experience. Watch it. Now. 
you came with, you are with somebody who is blind. Put your hand on the person's eye. You are with somebody person. who cannot walk. On a wheelchair, on crutches, paralyzed. Put your hand on the person. Whether you are here or you are watching by television, place your hand on that person. Now. The power of God is coming. Place your hand. The right hand of God is coming. I stretch my right hand to everyone here. But to viewers all over the world, you are blind. You are deaf. You are dumb. You are paralyzed. You are mentally insane. You are tumor. Fibroid. 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 HIV. If you shall live, rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. You are deaf and dumb. Someone paralyzed. You are stretching your hand. When you are sitting watching the TV, rise up and touch the TV. You can walk now in Jesus' name. You came with a walking aid. Raise it up. Left the beki. Begin to walk out. If you came here with a walking aid, you have to crunch it. When I saw the boy standing in front of me, I knew I had witnessed a miracle. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, now, now, what that means, that means what you just saw, that program you just saw, is several people who were healed got a miracle via the airwaves. And the camera was not on them as at when the miracles happened. Um, there were no, because the things of the Spirit are not programmed, they are spontaneous. So there were no cameras on them when it happened. So the day when they when they can give their testimony, we have to give you like a format. We might not be a hundred percent accurate by the wearing of the clothes and all of that, but to give you an idea, they have to explain to us how it happened, and we give you a screenplay, a dramatized version of what they experienced whilst the camera was not on them. So it's a program that's coming up. There's so many um, good things that are coming up to keep you. Look, celebration TV is already addictive. So just imagine with all of these programs that are coming up, it's, it's going to be um, as it were. Um, someone said to me, <laughs> he said, you've messed up my mind. I said, what do you mean messed up your mind? So you messed up my mind. In the office, Celebration TV. At home, Celebration TV. My family, my mother, my everyone. It's a blessing. I say this today. Um... Celebration TV is not just a channel, it's a miracle. It's the move of God in the box. It's the move of God via the airwaves. Outstanding, outstanding move of God. I'll take a few mails and I'll run through one or two informations and I'll pray with you. I know you have been blessed. We are Pastor and Dr. Ms. Alex. Uche from Kodakot. Celebration TV has helped our prayer life, our world power, our mistake in life and family. Papa is the best as long as Christianity is concerned. We give God the glory. We love him, Apostle John Cinnamon, and pray that God's grace will continue to be with him, his family, and ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Life-changing experience had been ceaseless in my life since I encountered, I began to watch television TV. I thought it was diabolical. 
Uh, he said his addiction to celebration TV, he thought it was diabolical. He said, but now I cannot control the feeling. The teachings of salvation is what I hear every day. God bless my father, Apostle John Suleiman, from, with longevity. Amen. From Solomon Joy. God bless you, Solomon. It's a move of God. You can't control it when God is involved. Thank you, Papa, for celebration TV. It had been keeping me on fire day after day, week after week, month after month. The war, the prayers, the miracles, prophetic, are uh, all outstanding. God bless OFM, Papa and Mama. Speak a word into my life and destiny. Samuel Ayeti from South Africa. God bless you, Samuel. God expand you. God increase you. God prosper you. In Jesus' mighty name. Greetings, Papa. I just want to thank you for your efforts toward our spiritual growth and financial upliftment. Thank you, Papa. I must confess that Celebration TV had helped me to grow spiritually since i started watching in february thank god for you and i pray for more grace from god to you amen god bless your heart in the name of the lord jesus i love celebration tv this channel has imparted my life tremendously through the messages of apostle johnson suleiman i have a sense of purpose and direction i hope to i hope i grow to be like him someday you will grow to be more than me God will help you to be more than I'll take this one and then I'll go on a break. I'll take this one. I'm blessed by the programs at Celebration TV. If there is a man to pray, there's a God to answer. Ever since I started praying with you in that program, my prayer life has drastically changed and improved to the glory of God. Jehovah the Doctor is a powerful package program to display the raw and mighty power of God through the many miracles witnessed. I have viewed live testimonies of death brought back to life through television and TV telecast. Indeed, God is with you, man of God. I've also seen God in my academics. After hearing you teach, that's an error for a believer to fail exams. Since then, I handled topic cheaply and read with dedication. Oh, oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. The Bible says it is written. It means God went to school. It is written. It means God knows how to read and write. It is written. It's very important that academics are taken seriously. I, 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 I want to say this to us. Um, one time, we had a prayer. I think it was in your location. I think we had a program with you when someone died on the phone. Yes. We had a program um, in Lagos um, with Reverend Fidelis at... Um, the indoor the indoor sport hall, hall. The national on the national stadium i had left i had left but my phone was on fire i'd left the program now what i mean i've left i've closed yes. from the service and i had people here screaming they were talking and i said what happened but i know they were pro a prophetic word and what i remember vividly is there was some photograph yes, that the i family prayed came the family came with a photograph and all of that but what, what, what i want to pick there is there was a testimony from kogi state about a woman that died a grandmother that died and um, the children had her photographs I, I wouldn't i don't know if it was two weeks or two months she's been in, in the mortuary and they had a photograph and they placed it on the tv during prayers as prayers were made the power of god came the woman came back to life in the mortuary and they had to call the children that their mother as, that can only be God. One time mama was preaching and there was a dead child. A man, the child was dead. The mama was confused and crying. And mama was worshipping right there in the east. In east, I think in most state or in Lugo, I can't remember. Right there in the east, the child came back to life. And the, the, the father had to come to a those state, Auchi, to say, I need to see. This is the move of God. This can only be God. Yes, sir. All in all, a young man is testifying of his academics being stretching, prayer life, financial life, ministry. This is what it's all about. Spirit, soul, and body. It's a total station for, for every aspect of life. One day, Daddy asked you to carry the grace on his life. I contacted, I connected and sees every, every prayer from a papa, I see instant result. I look forward to the rebroadcast of Sunday service by Sunday evening. It's wonderful. I contacted the grace of the prophetic. 
Once mama laid hands on me in my dreams, Papa's life of sacrificial giving has motivated my giving life. I follow up on Facebook with love Apostle Johnson Slim and indeed it's been an inexhaustible experience. I started watching Celebration TV. Now here comes the good news. I want to give you good news. Like a, a three our 2016 anniversary good news. Celebration TV is now an app. You can download, do a Google Google uh, Google search and download on Google Celebration TV as an app. It can be gotten if you have an Android phone, a Blackberry phone, you can download Celebration TV. I, I see this as a miracle because in America there is already a decoder. They came up with a format, a decoder for Celebration TV. So now if you have your, 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 your Android phone, just go on Google Play, search for Celebration TV and it's going to come up and then you can watch practically almost everything that you see via the airways. Your celebration radio runs too. Celebration radio and people, I was surprised in the first three weeks of that encounter, I, I discovered the, the, the response is amazing. The response is shocking to see people who before that time we are not glued or were not addicted to anything radio around the world you know radio is on the go you don't have to sit on the spot to um, assess radio it's on the go and that's what makes it um, um have a wider wider reach god bless you god bless you we're going to take a break now and after that i'll come pray for you and every word from God, get ready for a prophecy. Get ready for a miracle. I'll come give you a prophetic word from God. I feel that prophetic anointing already. Amen. Something's going to happen. Miracles will happen. But please, as they happen, send a mail. I'll see you in the next one minute. Get ready. If you have anyone that's sick, call them. If you have anyone who needs a miracle, get ready. Because something's about to happen right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now listen to me. God said by a prophet, God brought them out. By a prophet were they preserved. I will pray with you in the next two, three minutes. Uh, but before then, our, our pastors are going to just say a word. I'm going to just speak one last word over your life. I'd like Mama to say a word um, to everyone in this celebration season. Um, what last word are you living with those viewing around the world? I want to thank God for all the testimonies uh, for what the Celebration TV has been doing in the lives of the people. So I want to encourage you to keep watching. Keep watching for more impact. Keep watching so that your life just, you, we just, we just want you to get renewed at all time, get refreshed at all time. It's not, um, about watching alone but let this thing be part and parcel of your life so just keep watching celebration tv reverend kingsley i beg i want to use this medium to encourage other viewers wherever you are watching from distance is not a barrier the same for this world and this world he let them and deliver them from all that is whatever you are believing god for whatever you are trusting god for is an avenue to reach you so all you need to do is just to believe, and at the end of the day, I know the good God is going to bless you. Thank you for watching Celebration TV. Keep watching. God bless you. Reverend John. Yeah, I want to say that um, three is also uh, the number of the Godhead. And the man is a spirit having a soul, and he lives in the body. And I want to say that um, let the word of God transform your life through Celebration TV. Instead of being addicted to Facebook, Twitter, and Google, be addicted to Celebration TV. God bless you. Amen. Fidel is the bull. I want to say categorically that by the grace of God, that the power that worketh in our father and our mother, Itatu, that we enjoyed as on the move and on the waves of Celebration TV, 
that will provoke a testimony in your direction. I want to say here that whatever you believe that is a fertile ground, you play your part. God can do without us, but He needs us to do many things He desires to do. Let's play our part to ensure that Celebration TV is an obvious one as it were. I bless every one of us, and I know that this same God will cause a testimony continually to be in our lives. Happy Celebration. Celebration TV. God bless you. God bless you. I want to be I go into prayers. I want to appreciate everyone who's been glued, everyone who's been a financial partner. And um, please keep connecting. The truth is, people do not know to go up, you sow up. If you want to go up, you sow up. Let your seed, let your seed be um, um, connected, directed to this channel. That'll be a blessing. I go around the world every week. I'm in a nation, I'm in a state, I'm in a program. Let your seed come in so that God can bless you. God, uh, I tell people, I said, when men of God call for sacrifice, they're not raising funds. When you give to God's work, you're not being philanthropic. You are helping yourself. When the man of God speaks a word, it's not a prediction. It's a prophecy. Predictions can come by permutations. By you check, observe the way things are, and you give a prophetic word. No, pred that's prediction. Prophetic word come by the Spirit of God. I've been informed that we have millions of people watching right now, online. I just uh, media people are just informed us. Our media people uh, have been so addicted and dedicated to this world. God bless them. God prosper every one of them. I like to pray with you wherever you are. Please, the telephone line is going to come up now. If I say a word and it's about you, send a mail, send a message, send a text, call. Somebody will be on the phone to confirm that word. I want, if I say a word and it's about you, call the line or send a message to confirm that word. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. I decree the hand of God touch you. All about Shikosa. In Telinon Stabukush Ilarabaka. Mesoliara Grash to Balarantes Igoloshte. There is a man who has cancer. There's a man who has I'm seeing Ekboma. There's a man on the bed. He has cancer. There is a can, a white can by his side. I don't know what you're doing. See urine. You urinate on the can. I don't know what the, the, the white plastic is, is for. And you've had cancers. And the doctors have told you there's nothing they can do. God is healing you right now. There's a lady. Your name is Yemi Olushego. That's it. Is this Alade or Ade? Alade or something? Yemi Olushego. Yemi Olushego. I'm seeing you around Akoko. Is it Akoko? Or Ondo stairs, the Karel. I'm seeing Ondo, and God is saying that your family has been experiencing witchcraft attacks that keeps people stay on the spot. They hardly move. Your name is Yemi Olushego. I'm seeing something like Alade. Uh, God is saying that witchcraft power is broken. Is broken in the name of Jesus. There's somebody by the name of Eunice. Your husband left you because of issue of a baby he walked away and you've been you've been begging you've been begging you've been begging people have talked to him and he's refused god says he's coming back and as he comes back the first month your conception is perfected he will give birth to a baby boy his name will be called emmanuel god with us i speak grace over your life in the name of jesus i see somebody in south africa I'm hearing something like Loran, Lorano, 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 Lorano. You actually have two wives. One stays at home, the other stays outside. The other stays in Randberg, and there's a problem. You just discovered that your child has polio, and you, you, you. There's nothing you can do about it. You've been told by the doctors to manage it. The child cannot walk. I see the healing power of God upon that child. Rise up and walk in the name of Jesus. There's a woman who is breastfeeding a baby as I'm speaking. You're breastfeeding a baby. Your husband just told you that he lost his job. You're breastfeeding a baby. Your husband just told you he lost his job. 
God says, I should tell you, tell him that that loss has just turned to a promotion. By Monday, you get a call that he's been promoted. They were actually called to withdraw that letter and give him the promotion letter. It's by the Spirit of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I decree somebody with excess flow of blood, I command it to stop. Amen. Somebody with a growth at the back of the ear, you are healed. Amen. I speak the hand of God upon your life. I speak a miracle. I speak a testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus. I decree from this day, be blessed. Someone has got breathing problems, got respiratory problems. Your lungs are somehow congested. Ephraim, Ephraim, that's your name. Be healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Someone watching me in Cameroon, you are HIV positive. You have a kit. You, are an, you have an HIV kit by your side that you use um, like a test strip. Right now, you are HIV negative. Amen. You are healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be healed. Be healed. Amen. Be healed. Amen. Be healed. Amen. Someone is watching me from South Sudan. South Sudan. You have a sister that's missing. She's not been found. God said I should tell you. Don't bother. Your sister is in Brazil. Your sister is in Sao Paulo. She's in Sao Paulo in Brazil. She's fine. And matter of two weeks, there will be a connection. We hear from her. I see people moving on the straight line in the family. And I decree in the name of Jesus, patterns, evil patterns are destroyed. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. It is well with all that concerns you. Amen. God's grace will become a resident factor in your life. Amen. I bless you with the blessing of God. Amen. Uh, I'm seeing somebody who has a lump in the left breast. God is healing you. He's taking away that lump from the left breast. God is taking away. Check it now. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Someone has... Um, he, has, he has something fixed to one ear, this ear, hearing aid, the right ear. Take it out, you can hear. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm seeing people's eyesight be corrected. Take off those glasses, be healed. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. It is well with you Amen. on every side. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Call us, send a mail, and tell us what God is doing right now. If there was a prophetic word for you, let us know. That during this, this life program, God spoke a word in Jesus' name. Thank you for being with us this morning. We are going to have a celebration. It's a celebration season for us. And we have a, a cake we are going to cut. And after that, just spend the whole day enjoying God's grace on Celebration TV. Some women, their problem is their rapper. Every night, that's how you tie up on your chest like a frustrated Lazarus. <laughs> tie up on the chair, rub powder like a knitting doctor. See the rub powder, scatter their neck with powder. You don't know if this is powder, if this is calamar lotion, you don't understand. They scatter their neck with powder. I say, carry body, they go, hey, <laughs> James, <laughs> Papa Joanne, push man and push wife. <laughs> Let me shock you. Do you know there are offerings and sacrifices that God rejects? And I saw a lady the other time came out. She dropped her television set and she held it. I said, Mommy, is that a seed? He said, Yes, I know one drop them. I know one drop them. Why you bring and come? I want mine to make her bring her, but I know one drop them. Carry and go. The mind to make her carry and come church. I release the baptism of the appetite for your wife in your heart. A fresh love, a fresh love. Sit down. And you, woman, also behave yourself. Don't say because I pray this prayer, you behave any help. Better behave yourself as a wife. More fire, more grace, more impact, more reach, more unction, more anointing, more explosion. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. We pray that as this has been a blessing to people around the world, tell someone about Celebration TV. Send your seed. Send your partnership support. And God's going to bless you. As you keep watching, 
your life will never remain the same. What do we have to say? Keep watching Celebration, Celebration TV. TV. God bless you.